Hello and welcome to the Overly Animated Podcast, where we take animation seriously. We talk everything animation here, including Miraculous Ladybug, which we'll be getting into right now. I'm Dylan Heisen, and today I'm joined by Delaney Stovall. Hey, y'all. And April Collins. Hello. Uh, yes, we are finally covering Where Dad, the latest episode of Miraculous Ladybug. Welcome to the February of Ladybug, as deemed by Family Channel in Canada. We'll be having like eight new episodes of Ladybug this month. It's going to be a lot, and we're going to be here covering it all. Um, Buggyary. Buggyary. <laughs> I don't know. That's an interesting it up. <laughs> okay, I like that. Uh, but yes, but you are here. We're starting with Where Dad, which aired tonight in uh, Canada on the Family Channel. This episode did air about a uh, month ago in Switzerland, and a lot of you have been bugging us. Why didn't we do a podcast earlier? Um, as I've been telling you, and as I say in many of the, uh, the, these intros, which maybe you skip, I don't know, uh, we wait for Miraculous Subs to finish subbing the episode. They never finish subbing this episode. Um, they're busy, you know? Uh, so I have, I said, we're not going to do it on the unofficial. I mean, Miraculous Subs is also unofficial, but it's more professional sub test. We're not going to do it on the potentially quote unquote bad subs. Um, you know, in retrospect, since it took a month, probably could have done it on the subtitles earlier, but now we have this English dub to talk about here. We're going to be discussing the English version. I also watched the subtitles of the French version to help outline and it's very confusing because a lot of lines are ridiculous and slightly different. Um, so we'll, ha- we'll we'll recap that a little bit. I-, I think there's some benefit to waiting because we have some very dumb lines from the dub that we wouldn't have gotten otherwise. So we'll, we'll, we'll tell you what those were if you only watched the French version. So uh, yes, yeah, so we're getting into Weird Dad here. Check out OverlyAnimated.com for uh, all of our Ladybug and other animation podcasts. Um, iTunes at OverlyAnimated.com slash iTunes and our YouTube is youtube.com slash overly animated all right subscribe anywhere to not miss all of our february ladybug podcasts okay um th- this is quite an episode delaney uh spoilers for this where dad and all previous episodes what delaney what are you thinking about where dad so the past two episodes of ladybug have just been viscerally embarrassing <laughs> <laughs> like, does it like i get so much secondhand embarrassment at watching like I mainly it's Ladybug. There are other shows that I just can't stand to watch because of the second embarrassment, secondhand embarrassment. And nor- Ladybug hasn't been that bad, like, recently, but oh my god, the past two episodes have been horrific. Like, I'm, I am I have to pause and be like, why why do I have to watch this? <laughs> but, so, in a, but in a good way. No! <laughs> it's just, it's wow, just embarrassing. <laughs> like, I don't know, this felt a little like we went backwards with you know, we were doing really good about the uh, fawning over each other. And, oh, it was just painful. Like, it was, I mean, it was great in that it was just stupidly ridiculous. And we had Marinette's dad turn into a villain, which I was like, oh, no. As soon as I knew the episode title, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> yes. And Marinette's parents are obviously the best. But this was very much typical not the my favorite territory yes because you know we have we has to be oh, i have to protect my daughter blah 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 and it's not that he went the you like i mean he was worried about her feelings which was better than it could have been but it was not the best yeah we'll, we'll get we'll but get it was hilarious time. that her solution to the problem was he's gonna think i'm ladybug i have to tell him i'm in love with him and that's the only way i'm going to fix this <laughs> Yes. Okay. We'll. That was one of the moments where I had to pause and be like, "Oh my god." <laughs> that was the best moment. <laughs> okay. God. Okay. We'll talk about it. April, what did you think of where Dad? Um, um, I agree about the secondhand embarrassment because, like, I was legit. I had to take a moment and pause, like you normally do whenever things get ridiculous. And my husband was like, "What's going on?" And I was like, and I told him everything that was happening up until that point. <laughs> And he's like, wow, April, it's like you're an old person and you're watching your stories, aka your, like, soap operas. And he's like, so I'm just going to say that every time you're watching Ladybug now, because this is too much drama. And I was like, I agree with you, but also it's great because... (laughs) And Marinette's dad is, like, the best. Like, I love how excited he was for her to have a boyfriend. It just... Because I love love, first off. And (laughs) so I just fully enjoyed how much he was like my daughter has a boyfriend and he's a superhero i'm gonna make macaroons and then i'm gonna make all of these things and we're gonna have brunch i'm gonna and- make love lunch yeah <laughs> and what is it um and he was like 
going on about. Yeah, he made a suit in the shape of a heart. Everything was in the shape of a heart, which was great. Um, I I agree that like I mean I think it's like I guess nice and endearing that her, her dad was like I'll protect her feelings and stuff. But then I was like, there's. I don't know. Part of it made me just a little bit uncomfortable. And then, like, I love that Marinette essentially still, like, saved the situation herself. No, and then they were like, oh, but Cat Noir saved Marinette. And I was like, no, he no. did not. <laughs> he didn't do anything. This exactly. is all his fault. And then Marinette saved herself, which is the only redeeming quality of this episode. But, uh, but yeah, and I love that, like, what what we got of Hawk Moth was super dramatic, because you guys know I'm the biggest Hawk Moth <laughs> He's ever. barely in this episode. You He's barely take, in the episode, but, his like, ring. his lines were just so perfect. Okay, but speaking of Hawk, okay, we have to get into this, because this is... <laughs> <laughs> this is a difference that we the glad we waited for the dub for, because just because Hawkmoth said fly my dreadful akuma in, yes. in English or, I don't think he said that in French or we don't really know but yeah when is he it's not my little akuma it's my dreadful akuma this is a big difference I is this a it's new a edgy super bad akuma <laughs> and, he, and, he, and he's like uh he's like or what did he say go enjoy your evil feast of darkness like yeah, and he was whoa like, calm down <laughs> I think English made him more over the top. It was, it's, I, I, I like, like, I like it. seeing into the window of the like, translation. The here. little bit that we got of him was over the top, and I appreciated that. So, but I will agree. Like, I feel like we kind of took a small like step back in terms of the show because everything was just super ridiculous, and like Hawk Moth was barely in it, and most important, yeah, most important part. But it, it did have some really good lines. I'll give it that. And I thought it looked like all of the backgrounds and everything were like really, really pretty. Like before, we were just up in the sky and everything was just blue. But like all of like the cityscapes and were sort of gorgeous, and we didn't see the Eiffel Tower, so that's a plus. Oh, oh man, that's you're true. right. <laughs> <Shocking. I'm shocked. laughs> what if the Eiffel Tower is covered in the the rose beanstalk? Like, uh, what if the rose beanstalk was in the shape of the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> that would have been better. I think that's a missed opportunity. Yeah, <laughs> kind of surprised they didn't do that. <laughs> it's supposed to resemble a rose, so it's just a, oh. yeah. Um, but... Is that what that was? It just looked like a giant <laughs> ball on a stick. It did. It did. Yeah, I guess that's what they're doing. Anyway. Um, oh. Yeah, okay, this episode's very silly. Uh, I, I agree it's not my favorite here. This was the Maricat episode. They said, okay, we'll do an entire episode for Maricat, and they spend as little time as possible with Marinette as Ladybug, and she's only, like, the last two minutes, she instantly transforms and saves the day, and uh, even I already we- got her to safety. Like, where were you? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that was Like, how? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this how is- How did you get her to safety, but you're still falling from the sky? <laughs> Yeah, I just threw her away. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're already digging into that line? Okay, yeah, that's true. Uh, it's it's a little, a little ridiculous, that part. But, um, yeah, I think other people are going to like this episode a lot more than us. No, we're not necessarily the big Maricat fans. Um, I think, uh, you know, me personally, this is what, my fourth out of uh, four of the, the combinations. Um, but I think, like, this episode shows why maybe it's our, our le- less, less favorite, just because this episode gets into damsel in distress type stuff, which you guys have been talking about. And it's like, okay, that's because that's what Maricat is i don't think this is like new the show reverting i think it's just them doing maricat like it'll go back to normal th- the next time but that was just the structure because we wanted to dig into this dynamic of cat as a hero and uh marinette as herself um i think the first half of this episode's like much better in the second half once we got like the giant rose thing um and where dad it was kind of nonsense uh there's some great parts but uh the the ridiculous uh like the ba- the the balcony scene with uh as as mentioned with uh marinette saying uh that uh, she loves cat as a uh, distraction from him uh finding out that she's ladybug is the best part of the episode it's so stupid and uh, it's i love it and then they're the- both so dumb i can't handle it <laughs> they're very dumb i have i gotta say this is the episode i liked tiki the most um, because Tiki well, the whole is time just, Tiki's like rolling her eyes. She's so she's exasperated like, oh with Marinette yes. the whole time. She's like, "Listen, yeah. 
<laughs> it's so good. She's definitely the audience surrogate. She'd be like, well, uh, you're, also, at you the are a lady Also, at the point where so. Marinette knows all of the other heroes' identities, does <laughs> yes. it matter? Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, we have all season of that still, so <laughs> at the very least. What? <laughs> But yeah, it's it's look, it's it's not 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 necessarily the best though. There's still some great ridiculous stuff. I love that the show continues to be very silly and ridiculous and the dinner scene is uh really dumb and it's great, I guess. <laughs> but uh <laughs> Yeah, there's it's also, so awkward. Yeah, uh, I guess the thing I like the most. We'll start. I here. was just I was Marinette's mom the whole time. <laughs> yes, Marinette's mom was the true hero of this episode because even from the beginning, she's like, "Yeah, but how does like Cat feel about her?" <laughs> yeah, Good she's point. The, the the sane one here, and she's also she like she bonded with Cat. That was a big moment. Um, not really, yeah. but um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, my, my favorite part of the episode is the beginning. Um, where we start, we continue. That's the reason this episode to me isn't like a, like, I think it's like a middle tier episode because I think this beginning is great in a way in which I love them experimenting with the structure of the show. Um, like we start off right in the middle of this uh, fight. Like apparently the baby gets kumatized again and, uh, we're dekumatizing like, the baby. Like you do. <laughs> like, like, ha- so Hawk Moth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you akumatized a baby again. Talk about this is your third time akumatizing the same child, like the same infant. What are you? What are you doing? Also, can we talk about the mom? Like, who who has called child protective services? Because this is nonsense. Like, you need to be able to like help the baby before it gets akumatized. <laughs> Yeah. And then when when Ladybug and Cat uh, save the baby, it's like, oh, what was it this time? Oh, it was uh, you. He was hungry. Uh, like, oh, a late night <laughs> craving. Oh, again. Oh, it's, it's act like it's the tenth time again? that they've dekumatized this baby. Hawkeye <laughs> keeps sending out Akumas because the <laughs> child is like crying. How hungry is this baby? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's the best part. Okay. <laughs> Does she? Does the mom not feed the baby? Like, what's going on? Babies just get hungry, but Hawk Moth is just is peeping on this. this I'm ready. Sh- yeah, like wait. He, ha- Hawk, He's like, Hawk, oh yes, the baby's hungry again. Hawk Moth set, set up the uh, the baby monitor. He like he snuck in and set up a baby monitor in that room. And his mon- whenever the baby cries, he sends out Nakuma. Uh, they, <laughs> I think that's I think that's the I think that's what's happening here. Anyway, <laughs> well, the reason I it. <laughs> the reason I love this this uh, this beginning is because the scene of we experience uh, Tom's perspective, Marinette's dad from um, that's I think it's from uh, like the, we hear in the background the the uh, the all the miraculous ladybug cataclysm, cataclysm. yeah, and then um, like we and then he the like he finds Marinette not in bed and like the the horror from his like that that oh, scene of, of his oh, perspective yeah. that was my favorite definitely my favorite part of the episode like uh it was it was really inventive i think like even in this episode where they're just like oh let's do the maricat episode and there's you know the second half which we might have problems with i think like it's super inventive with the format and they're they're this feels it does feel a little bit like a season three episode even though we're not changing up as much stuff as we thought we would be this season um at least we're like doing interesting format things here like very much like very reminiscent of sandboy for me um my, still my favorite episode of the yeah. show so I, I i really love this beginning um I liked it too. I, I really enjoyed that. Like kind of like the whole um just like seeing it from the other side kind of thing. Yeah. Like and you you like catch like you hear what's going on. I'm also glad that we didn't have to like go through like the giant baby like deacommatization again. Like we did, but like not from the same perspective yeah. because we've had the giant baby like four hundred times, so <laughs> Yeah, it's, you know, we've seen the same format 50 times, literally, and now we're switch we're like keeping to the format, but telling it from different sides. And I think that's like really interesting. And it's it's a powerful device when you've seen the same thing so many times to like subvert it. It, it really uh, hits, I think, the, the audience. And I think this is another good example. It's a, it's an, uh, you said it's a really good example. And it is, it's a great example of how this show, like every time they, they change things up, they, they do it and it's always successful. But so I, Again, I appreciate that. And I even though like I guess it's still slightly like reminiscent of like season one, but we are still like getting that small experimentation and we're like we're continuing on from season two and we're not just reverting back to what we were doing before. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Uh, yeah, and it is they have a really good track record so far. It's switching, switching things up. So I think it's been been great. Um the uh, let, let's note this line, and I want to give you the English and then what the French oh, was, God. according to the sun. <laughs> so uh, the, here's the English. Wow, my heart is just like that yo-yo wrapped baby's wrist take, <laughs> taken prisoner by my milady forever. 
I um, remember seeing that from the the uh, subtitled one, and I was like, "What is this?" Like? It was it was actually more saying in the the stu- the the bad subs in French is "Wow, trapped in your yo yo, his yo. arm is like my hands, milady, prisoner of your adorable eyes forever." It's basically the same thing. It sounds so stupid. It, like why this is the way they chose to translate this? Yo yo wrapped baby's wrist. <laughs> I mean, it's a very dumb line on its own, but this. <laughs> Uh, this is a sign that this episode would be very stupid. And we were not disappointed, I think. We should have known. <laughs> so you should just know when you see the baby. Yeah, the baby. I, I yeah, I want to talk I want to talk more fan fiction about uh Hawk Moss this baby a bunch. I like it. but uh, okay, I'll resist the to get back into that. Um, That's another for another day. <laughs> uh, well, to this part. We'll probably get back to this part, to be That's honest, fine. but we'll see. Um, the only notable part, I think, Cat being jealous of uh, Ki- Marinette uh, kissing the baby. And he's like, no, I wasn't uh, jealous of, of you. Yeah. Um, I uh, yeah, I like. I thought that, that was, was funny. funny. Too. Yeah. <laughs> she just hands the baby off, like here it's you like, go. Oh. It's like, oh, you you must want to uh, hold this baby. <laughs> okay, Marinette. Yeah. <laughs> I like that he was like, oh yeah, this baby has great taste in macaroons. Like what? The baby <laughs> wanted cake, not macaroons. <laughs> yeah. <I> was, <laughs> okay, I we actually were talking about a really underrated part of the episode that I actually think is probably top tier at moments in Ladybug is the lucky charm that is a giant donut. Yeah, you like that? Like, can barely hold. Her. <laughs> <laughs> like, and she just goes soak, and she's like, oh, like she's like, she's like Atlas under it. It's hilarious. <laughs> and then the baby immediately picks it up and throws it into her bedroom. <laughs> Yeah, is this this is the I guess the least successful Lucky Charm ever. Uh this is like the parody of the Lucky Charm. Uh, we already amazing. did that though. That's uh, cool. I don't yeah, understand. it's just a giant donut. I, I guess the ba- the baby wanted a dessert, so it got a giant dessert for the giant baby. That's the Lucky Charm. Good job. It's just so good. Like how heavy it had to be. Like it's just so funny. Yeah, I'm telling you, the beginning is is amazing. This episode, They're a little downhill, no, the but beginning is really great, and yeah. then it just, just like goes off the rails. <laughs> Yes, it's a little off the rails to start with, with that uh, yo-yo wrapped baby's wrist. But uh, I'm telling you, if you don't believe me, that's how the line was translated. Go watch the English. I'm telling you. Um, so uh, yeah, cat. Uh, then it's a, he, he, we've got the pacifier for the baby. So cat goes back after Marinette transforms and um, sees uh, Marinette. Um, it's it's not the also first... her her immediate reaction is to throw the pacifier on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I appreciated that. She was just like, oh, I still have right. this. <laughs> That's good, yeah. Uh, it's not the first time I have seen you after Ladybug detransform, says Kat, and then Delaney's probably freaking out. And uh, <laughs> I was also No, the thing was, out. I was like, they're teasing me, but this can't happen. <laughs> have, wait, did you figure it out by now that they're teasing you? Shut up. <laughs> the this this was the breaking point? Oh, we're past the line. Okay. No, it's just every day I'm like, ugh. <laughs> we're too, once we're past episode 50 we're too jaded at this point for <laughs> no i will never not be too jaded okay we're, we're that's, on good. To, that's we're good on i'm gonna be you. mad about it every time <laughs> okay this was one of the old, most the biggest teases because then uh maybe you're and then marinus i'm in, <laughs> in love with you <laughs> the best i'm like y'all are so dumb this- no my favorite actually is when he runs away like when he's leaving and he's talking to himself well he's talking to the baby but he's talking he's to talking himself to the- and he's like well i was just gonna think she just follows me around and i'm like you were like the fact that you hadn't figured it out and then oh it's exhausting also- the, like, what is it? He's like, this is the too. first time a girl's told me she's loved me. What? Yeah. Like, Adrian, every day people tell you that they love you because yeah. you're a model. Well, I, I think I think that's a good scene for Adrian's character because he's, you know, we see him as this uh, model figure that Marinette's like, but no one, you know, no one's like confessing to him. No one's like that close to him. So I think that fits in with what we've seen from him. Um, it 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 did. The, yeah, they, there's no time for it to sit on. Like, I do think there's good character backing to that part, but there's like no breathing room for it to sit on that. It's just like uh, you wedged in the middle of this nonsense and uh, is presented nonsensically so um but yeah there there i think that that, that is some backing um but uh yeah then uh marinette goes to hug hug him after she says she's in love with him like puts her foot up like uh, and then tom walks in on the scene and uh and he is so excited so excited yeah <laughs> and, gotta have boyfriend over i like how friends. he's not even mad anymore that like she like has a fake marinette dummy that she puts in her bed <laughs> He, totally. he was horrified. That's a, such a scarring thing, and he's instantly over it. And like, oh, my, 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 my boyfriend, invite him over for dinner. Yeah, it's a uh, mood whiplash with Tom for sure. 
Uh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> you think that would have more of an effect seeing the dummy? And would he question her? Like, no. Um. <laughs> or like he doesn't even bring it up. Like, oh, I see you put this dummy in the bed so you could sneak out to see your boyfriend. Right. Like, that's, no, I guess that's the that. implication. Yeah. But no. Um, just, come have brunch with us. <laughs> yeah, I will. I guess I will say, like Ladybug, for his being silly, it is it does it doesn't like need to spell things out like that for you a lot of times. I think that's like a great thing about the show. Um, but it, sometimes it moves a little fast. Um, maybe this episode and uh, yeah, Adrian. Uh, we mentioned Adrian stuff here, and then if only Ladybug confessed to me like uh, Marinette did. So there you go. And then there, of course, there is that very gentle dig that Plog gives him when they're I back. In his house. Oh, okay. We'll get to it. Yeah. Okay. So that um, actually might be the best, like it's a terrible line, but it's so good. Yeah. So P- Adrian's talking to, uh, to Plog and to Plog is like, um, there's nothing wrong with you having two pots simmering on the stove, especially when there's only, when she's, uh, there's only one pot after he like walks away. So, oh, so I, good. I looked away right as he was delivering that line because I was immediately writing it down. And I thought <laughs> that Adrian was still in the room whenever yeah. he said, that and I was like, "What is happening?" I mean, he's still there. It's just, I, like, just mu- he's like muttering. Also, you talking about Flog's cabinet full of cheese. <laughs> oh, you want to talk about that? <laughs> he opened the cabinet. And I was like, "Wow, that has to be a nasty cabinet. You can't get that smell out, right?" I like. I like that he's only excited about it because of course dad, can, yeah, can make bread for. Him. That's it. That's all he wanted. <laughs> yeah, that's what Plog was saying. That line in uh, the the subtitles was uh, which is, nothing wrong with seeing two girls, especially when she's only one girl. And then the English is pot simmering on a stove. So there's that's another a much uh, better. I like. I ha- well, no, I like. I love watching the <laughs> French better because the English decides that we have to have the worst metaphors. <laughs> and it puns. adds. A, it adds a lot of idioms and stuff. Yeah, it's I think so. horrible. Yeah. This is the first time I've done the direct comparison. I mean, again, again, the subtitles were not the the, the official ones, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's a, it's an experience. Um, before that, by the way, quickly, uh, Tom's talking to Sabine. By the way, Marin, so I've had to look it up for the first time because she was prominent here. Um, and uh, why why wouldn't Cat love Marinette? Everyone loves Marinette. Which is true. Wrong. That is objectively is true. true. If you missed it, by the way, it's our first Ladybug Buck as well. Marinette won Best Main Character on our award show last year. So, uh, yes, it is proven. Everyone, Everyone loves, loves Marinette. Marinette. She won the vote. <laughs> she won our awards. Uh, Thomas retweeted the, the announcement and the previous one. Thanks. Thanks, Thomas. They put it put Marinette over the top here. So, confirmed scientifically, we agree, Tom. And, Everyone. Uh, Loves Marinette. It's Everyone true. loves Marinette. It's yeah. true. And then Ad- another thing Adrian in this blog team says, I didn't think Kat was her type, um, which I thought was great. Right? Yeah. Okay. Which let's I'm talk glad about what you think her type is because well, I'm curious thinks, to know. Well, I think he knows her type isn't annoying. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Shots fired. A cat. <laughs> and then, like, he even tries to be the worst, like, at brunch when he's like, Yeah, I would even fall in love with myself. And everyone, that whole beat where everyone's staring at him. <laughs> I'm like yeah. you're so annoying. That was the that was yeah, that was the most annoying cat line in since season one. I think like that was a season one type of cat line. And it we was hadn't intense. had that in a while. I think I don't blame him. It was a very awkward dinner, but I mean I do not. That, I don't blame him for reverting a little bit at that moment. I think that maybe makes sense. But I think uh, he needed it to revert in that moment. He needed an outlet. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Then uh, this like. Uh, Adrian's like, I'm going to only go to dinner to tell the truth. And Marinette's on the, the rooftop and it's like, uh, could you uh, believe this idiot fell in love with me? Um, I know. <laughs> in like two seconds. And then yeah. she calls him out on it in front of din- at dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. Is that what his love of ladybugs worth? Also, um, why are you so upset about it, Marinette? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. And then this is when Tiki's like, uh, well, you guys are the same person. Like, so I we didn't. Tiki calls him out too. <laughs> So she didn't need to release uh, disrespect, Lady Bugga. Yeah, that was the. Be- I think that's my favorite Tiki moment. Uh, not well, my favorite Tiki moments are when she's horrifying, but this is my most uh, relatable Tiki moment. <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah, and then Marinette decides he can't. Uh, she can't tell the truth because then uh, he'll know that uh, she's Ladybug. Uh, just the circular logic and nonsense from the two of them in the beginning of this episode is peak. I think. And then the at show. the end, when she finds out that she didn't have to lie because he's actually an idiot. <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I, yeah <laughs> we don't spend a lot of time on that but yeah that's true that is what the ending was <laughs> okay let's get to this dinner cat greets um marinette and they do the the, the kiss on the cheeks 
Very and long. it's slow mo, and it's like, slow-mo. oh my god! It's like, isn't this a normal French thing? But no, we're gonna slow mo and make it romantic here. Yeah, yeah I it's super awkward. Yeah, and then we bring Cat brings a rose, a breakup rose to Marinette. Brings her a pink one. And that was the best. Though Plog was she like, loves pink. pink. Oh, and then Plog. No, my favorite part was before that when Plog was like, "Yeah, break up with her with the rose. Yeah. It'll make it way better." <laughs> Plog was very troll. This episode, like. Yeah. Plog- Plug was like intense troll. Like, uh, yeah, I think I think we're I think we we initially really hated Plug. I think we've come around a lot. <laughs> well, he's just, savage. He just says the rudest things, and he's only motivated by cheese. He's super blunt. So relatable. Wow, best. savage and only mo- mo- motivated by cheese. Um, but yeah, he he's been a lot blunter. It's it's fantastic. He he's just too. He's so done after he knows the identities. Now he's like, oh my god, this is so I, stupid. It, Exactly. Like he like that's why I wasn't like super surprised, but I was also shocked whenever I thought that like Adrian was still in the room when Plug said that the d- the two pots thing. I was like, "Why we're doing this right now?" Like Yeah. <laughs> Plug, <laughs> and this is close some close calls to come probably with Plog almost revealing it cuz he's so sick of this. Yeah. Tiki too was sick of it. Where where's the shot? This episode needed a scene of the two of them meeting up and then uh just venting to each other about how dumb they are. Or they just look at are. each other and they're like or yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess they're separated the whole time. So, but yeah, it was uh, it was, that would have been good. More tiki vlog scenes after uh, Samboy. Yeah, we need that. Um, the the dinner. Tom's too into it. Um, you can work at the bakery with me. After oh, I like that. that. Tom, I, what is it? I like that he's like, oh, is being a superhero a steady profession? That was and, good. That was good. <laughs> and then he like answers his own question, and he's like. Or he's like, well, no, I mean, one day, like, you'll obviously defeat Hawk Moth, and then, yeah. like, you can come work for me in the bakery, and then you and Marinette can have some kittens and hamsters. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. And he, so, like, he, like, hamsters, and then Cat Noir is, like, hamsters, which that was on, that was really good. <laughs> but I like that we're back to the hamsters yeah, again. Okay, 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 we're okay, always we're... back to the hamsters, <laughs> and we'll never know what they want to name the hamsters. Well, we have a new contender in this episode, but uh, uh, the broadly, this oh, scene... Nightmare. This, this scene, Good well, yeah, this. there's Nightmare. That was, uh, that was the first one. Okay. Okay. okay but first, broadly, this scene is, the, this scene is Cat Noir comes to dinner. Is the, <laughs> so stupid. Are you doing house calls now? Okay. That's the concept. I think that's, the, this is the concept for the episode. Cat Noir comes to dinner and the, 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 the this rooftop thing. And though that's why the episode is, is pretty good is the, those two things. But yeah, uh, the, the, the English uh, dub added this line, by the way, about uh, after you beat Hawk Moth, you won't need to run around on the rooftops with a stick saving people. Um, <laughs> Thank with, you. Yes. You have completely sum up, summed up stick. what Cat Noir does. You know, I, I don't know. Cat Noir is. This is why I was glad. This, this is why I was glad I watched the English for this line about running around with a stick. Maybe I missed it in the French, but that's, I don't know. Um, yeah, I can already see kittens running around the house. At first, I was like, "Oh, they, this must be a mistranslation." Nope, same thing in the nope, English. Kittens. kittens running around the house. Um, my daughter loves hamsters. Yep. Yeah. And then Cat um, says he's in love with Ladybug. Marinette has fakes being sad. No, at first she's like, she causes all of this. No, because at first she's like, yes. And then she's like, oh, this is the worst. And she was like, I'm so miserable. <laughs> Instantly miserable. Oh, my it's God. The, the best acting for Meredith also, here. Also, we know that she was truly acting because Hawk Moth didn't try to akumatize her. God. <laughs> <laughs> what if, okay, that would be good if if Marinette's act- yeah. What if someone's act? What if uh, Hawkman tries to akumatize someone in like a play, and he can't? He's like he's not paying close attention, and then he's like, "Oh, this person's crying in this play. I'll, I'll send this akuma out." Like, wh- wh- when, why hasn't that happened yet? Is, is Actually, that valid akumatization? I think that would have been better if he had sent an akuma out to go after Marinette after she was rejected by uh, Cat, yeah. and then he gets her dad instead. Because <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, there, uh, uh, yeah, just do this instead of the baby for the tenth time, Hawk Moth. Come on. Yeah. Um. Yeah. She says, "I'll be all alone and my hamster with my hamster, and its name will be loneliness." loneliness. Yeah. <laughs> Which is great. That was solid. I think that's the iconic quote from the. Episode. Actually, I think the really great, like the great addition to her, like fake crying was, "No one will ever love me." Yeah. Classic. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> and then she goes up to her room and celebrates. Yay! And she uh, dances. Cat, the best. Cat's yes. in love with me. And then Tiki's like, Ugh. <laughs> like Tiki's so exhausted. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> that scene. And in the thirty seconds she's gone, her dad gets akumatized. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's the, stu- <laughs> it's the stu- I'm telling you, it's the stupidest episode. It's so good. Okay, it's not as dumb as Reverser, but it's this might be number two stupidest after Reverser. Um, and we love it. Okay. Um, then, yeah, Hawkmouth with the food puns, Fly My Dreadful Akuma. Um, he akumatizes Tom and Angry. We get this fi- shot of uh, Tom's fist, by the way, the meme. We put that in there. And, oh, uh, yeah. And, and so Where Dad with the Rose, the power to protect your daughter. He says he's going to make Cat Noir pate. Is a uh, <laughs> good addition uh, and in the English. And then, uh, yeah, this giant rose thorn stem thing through the house. Cat comes back in. Uh, Sabine's like done with Tom. Sabine is talking to Cat. And then um, Cat's climbing this giant rose. Um, this and took then, forever. Yeah. It, it was a long time. It took time. forever yeah, to climb. Yeah. yeah. I think the episode's not paced tremendously because this, this ladder, even though this ladder part's only nine minutes, like a lot of it's just. Cat climbing and fighting, and then getting dad. his butt kicked. Yeah, yeah. And, and and then the ending is is very quick, and then the beginning of stuff is all smashed together. But I think like the show does that on purpose. I think we smash together stuff in the beginning on purpose because it like makes it snappy and and fun and stuff. And I do think that's true. Um, but then I think the rest of the episode also needs to be snappy, so it didn't work as well with Cat just climbing for a long time. Um, but yeah, then uh, the he's fighting where dad, um, and uh, so. I think this episode's supposed to be like a bunch of fairy tales is what I've seen. Um, but for th- the things that stuck out to me were Jack and the Giant Beanstalk, um, like clearly with the, the climbing it. And then also he's a werewolf. So yeah, I didn't make no sense. <laughs> well, I, I was wondering if like maybe they were trying to do like the beast. Like yeah. Beauty and the Beast. I think maybe? I think for, I think yeah. I, I, supposedly there's more than just like these one or two fairy tales in there, but um uh yeah it's it, was, the, the, the the two biggest ones were like werewolf and jack and giant beans and those together did were very weird juxtaposition i think um, i wish that it would have actually been at nighttime so he would have actually transformed into a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> but there was also no reason for him to be a werewolf i think they were like they just have they just had to incorporate his mustache somehow <laughs> <laughs> oh that's why i really didn't understand yeah um uh, yeah i don't understand where dad is a villain uh we didn't spend a lot of time trying to explain him he was just where dad um, that was it i think it's like the 20th most notable thing about the episodes i don't feel the need to talk about it too much but i think the design was pretty good even though it didn't make a lot of sense um but yeah cat's fighting him uh the, the highlight of the exchange for me was clearly this was uh you can't protect her from what hurts the most says cat and then he oh, says my great big punches that? and then he <laughs> says no good. solitude <laughs> yeah also, can we talk about how they tried to, like, subtly put that in there with, like, Adrian having, like, lunch, and he's like, is my dad gonna come? Oh, yeah, that we forgot about <laughs> and that. Natalie, yeah. And then he says the <laughs> saddest thing ever. <laughs> She's like, your next scheduled meal <laughs> with your father is on next Thursday. And she's, doesn't she say, like, between 7.45 p.m. and 7.45 p.m.? <laughs> No, it's she's literally like seven, between seven thirty and yeah. seven forty five. Yeah, yeah, okay. like that, yeah. I thought I heard seven forty five twice, and I was like, "Wow, savage!" <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good too. But it was no, it was a, it was a fifteen away. minute window. It was savage. No, and then as he's walking away, he's like, "I think I'm going to eat in my room." So at least while I'm talking, it'll be like I'm eating with somebody else. And I'm like, "Gee, that's the stupid. This is the saddest Whoa. thing." Yeah, uh, but no, it was an ex- it was an excuse. A lot of melodramatics from the two of them while they're lying in this episode. They're really meant for each other with their lying melodramatics here i would say <laughs> <laughs> it's the maybe they're just rubbing off on each other i think <laughs> that's the most romantic part uh yeah how about my great big punches uh is, is, is <laughs> that where, was, is, that's that was where dad's wonderful. guess about what hurts the most um that, that was that was good um so he's gonna punch his own daughter what <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't understand. Uh, Cat's name drops damsel in distress here. I don't think the French had that, but uh, who knows? But uh, yeah, that's. That, I think that's like the prevailing theme is like uh, Marinette's trapped while Cat's uh, fighting. I think the intent is to subvert it because Marinette saves the day at the end. Cat doesn't uh, even win. Um, this whole show is a subversion of damsel in distress because Ladybug is the one that does everything right. Um, yeah. And, th- and Cat Noir is ep- basically useless. Yeah, yeah, which I think we see this episode. Um, but the uh, you know, he's he's. Pretty Putting up a fight against where, uh, but uh, but, but yeah, we sp- it, it's just so quick, and she's in this like rose prison for a long time. It doesn't come across great. I think it's like if you've seen like this is like one out of fifty episodes of the show, and this is never the case. So I don't think it's like uh, horrendous, but uh, you know, juxtapose it with how um, not damsel in distressy the show normally is, and it's it's not. It doesn't seem great. I would say, yeah. I just I don't yeah. I just don't like that 
what is it? Like they sort of like force Marinette into this very like into that role. Mm. And that's not ever her character because the whole show builds her up as like the main hero. Like, you know, you know like we can't de without like her yo-yo X, Y, and Z. And then I think I wish that if we were going to explore this, like what does Kat do without her situation? I wish that we wouldn't have put her like in the damsel in distress role. I think it would have been better to explore like him having to operate without her but not in that kind of position. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Also, Kat is the worst version of Adrian. And anytime <laughs> we try to do any like romantic things, it just never comes off right because Kat Noir is so annoying. All right, you're going to incite, Delaney, you're inciting the fangirls here. People don't Good. like that we hate Kat so Good. much, okay? Kat Noir <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Kat Noir sucks. He's, he's better now, isn't he? He's lame. He's he less was, lame. I don't know. The bar he was, was like, so low was... for him to get better. <laughs> <laughs> Like he was, he was very much like season one cat noir at the yeah. beginning of this episode. Like <laughs> he, he's more over the top to match. I think the the, the tone of the episode. Yeah, um, I think I think we're just uh, you know we're stuck on this episode. I think in general, cat's been fine. We're just we're just remembering the nonsense from this episode. Hopefully, we'll go back to <laughs> normal cat soon. But uh, regular cat. <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he's he's I think he has some some good moments here. But uh, oh, here's this line from him. Um, so so it's, it's where dad's talking about someday a worthy prince will. Uh, Come and pick the magic rose. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know. It, d- it didn't make sense in the subtitles either. But yeah, this was. And then he's like, I may not be her prince, but I'm charming enough to free her. Um, that was in English. He still edition. doesn't do it. <laughs> no. Nope. And he doesn't free her, free her though. No. Um, yeah, but then uh, magic rose prison that Marinette's in, t- stopping Tiki from finding her. She uh, climbs through this like booby thorn booby trap. <laughs> to- oh, yeah, with the swinging vine. <laughs> Which it was really like it was stressful watching her do it because she's so clumsy, but she did it. That's yeah. true, <laughs> and she's not ladybug, like, so she's she doesn't just get the fall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know why this thing has booby traps in it. Like, who? who where, there's no time to set up booby traps. Like, wait. also, how would okay? Why? What is the purpose of the booby traps if it's literally like a magic prison that not even Tiki can get to? She her shouldn't in. be able to find the rose. Yeah, like she found the rose pretty easily. It seems like. Uh, well, she would, but like, how would? How do you expect anyone else to? Because they literally like Tiki couldn't find Marinette. Tiki yeah, I guess. <laughs> Tiki, yeah, that's true. Tiki is magic. Maybe Tiki should be able to get through the magic prison. Um, but uh, I think it was to stop Marinette, but uh, it doesn't, anyway. Um, yeah, Marinette gets the, the rose and um, frees the Akuma, and then it collapses, and uh, Marinette gets Tiki, instantly transforms and de-akumatizes while in midair, um, which I, I thought this was pretty cool. And um, then it's also, like, how uh, did no one see that? <laughs> She's higher up, I guess. I they were know. falling. It doesn't yeah, matter. They were falling. Um, she, she's like goes to save Cat, and Cat's like, "Well, where's Marina?" And she's like, "She's safe." Yeah, we mentioned that. I thought that's. Uh, I a, saved her. It's cool. If if you're a Mara Cat shipper, I think this is a big line because Cat is concerned for uh, Marinette here. Um, but uh, also that's- just Ad- Adrianette, right? Like uh, this is this is furthers Adrianette Adrian's uh, concern and love and developing feelings for Marinette. Um, I think that's good. Lucky she lucky charms for this like boat. And then, and then he, they literally just want the sail. This, this is why couldn't she have just lucky charm. charmed a sail? Wait, Delaney, are you saying this is more dumb than the giant donut? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no ladybug vision. We just cataclysm the the base so we can get the sail. Yeah. Yeah. And, I'm like, are you are you for real? Like, you couldn't have lucky charmed a glider. You had to yeah. make one. Right. I mean, I think she's not in control, but why? It's did we exhausting. Like <laughs> it's exhausting. <laughs> and then we turn this into a kite, and then and we should don't remind me of kites because uh, that makes me think of uh, Reverser and Cat uh, bound and gagged attached to a kite. So that's the the more ridiculous cat. Uh, just wanted to throw that out there. That's but they happened threw him. That was honestly the best. <laughs> yeah. Not the best kite scene in the show for sure. That was the better one before. But uh, then we get to the ground, and uh, I like I love this scene too. Cat like collapses onto a ladybug. Um, I thought that was a, a great uh, Lady Noir what moment. Was he tired for, from like, fighting where dad unsuccessfully. Get, yeah, getting his butt kicked. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, He's not usually this exhausted after getting his butt kicked, so I'm confused. <laughs> that's true. He normally does get his butt kicked. Okay, Marinette goes, and then Marinette's like rush back to her room when they get to the gun. Okay, I know I've been saying I English like that dub. she calls. She calls out. She, she's like. 
oh yeah, they the magic ladybug okay. probably <laughs> put her in her. <laughs> Here's like, what, I have why, to tell you this. Why couldn't she? I didn't understand why she didn't just fix everything. Like the whole extended scene of them landing, I was like, you can be in midair and be like a miraculous ladybug, and then it doesn't matter. Like unclear i don't know how the rules work but apparently the miraculous ladybugs are in play here because uh i just want to say the english dub added this line and i'm so (laughs) last last time we watched the english of the magic ladybugs and here she says wait the miraculous ladybugs have repaired everything so she must be safely back in her room that's marinette's line um where was she before (laughs) I don't know. Uh, she was trapped in the, the the rose thing. That was still her. No, yeah, everyone knew that was still her, I guess. But yeah, the miraculous ladybugs have repaired everything. I just the magic ladybugs in the the Queen Bee trilogy. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's, it's it makes it more the ladybug mechanic more ridiculous. The miraculous ladybug mechanic. Yeah. Like when you say it out loud, <laughs> it, it's already so stupid. But yeah, just <laughs> it makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> this is so dumb. Okay, um, Marinette, uh, the, they're in the room. Marinette still wants to be friends with Kat. Um, you really seem like an amazing girl, and they hug. Um, aww. aww. Yeah, I think that's a, a, a big yeah, but Actually, scene. it's another moment where Tom glares back at Kat Noir, which has been happening throughout the episode, and it's yes. great. <laughs> yes. Um, and then, the, as Lenny said, Kat's uh, like, oh, I just thought you were one of... Uh, you you were one of my fans and uh that's what i was thinking on the balcony and yeah and he's like i was gonna say i just thought like he says it i'm like oh my god (laughs) that we could have avoided this whole situation got it uh yep and uh yeah tom's like you sure you don't want to go into baking and there you go that's the end Uh, (laughs) that's the end (laughs) nonsense episode do we miss anything here um no (laughs) no okay we (laughs) can That's it. That's the whole episode. This was what you guys have been waiting for. We did it. People were clamoring for our Where Dead podcast. I hope that was worth it because... I I hope so, too, because, look, if anything, Pog was a key player in this episode... No, I'm t- the, the people wanted the, the analysis of the dinner scene, analysis of the rooftop. The, the, that's, I think, uh, the, that's what happened. Our we analysis, needed... it was dumb. The, the thing was... I'm the, <laughs> it was dumb. The thing I'm the most uh, excited coming out of this is uh, Hawkmoth keep akumatizing the baby. And like, uh, oh, he's wow. the, the baby mom. How many there. more times will Hawkmoth akumatize the baby? Yeah, because the baby was part of the uh, the Heroes Day, the finale. Like, you know, we was yeah. the game. Yeah, so this is the third time. We'll see, and the, they referred to it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, what is it this time? Uh, uh, yeah, like it, it happens Late night often. craving. Yeah, okay. Once that's the a best week. Part. That's my favorite the, part of the episode now. Okay. It's usually on like Tuesdays or Thursdays. <laughs> there you go. Um, okay. Uh, Delaney, final thoughts on Where Dad? Uh, the funniest part of the episode was the giant donut. Okay, you're still, still on the giant donut. <laughs> it was okay. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but you, but it's a still Amer- more Chat useful. Is not my favorite. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. Um, April. Final thoughts. Um. Will we ever figure out the name of the hamsters? <laughs> it's hamster. loneliness and nightmare. Yeah. No. <laughs> that can't be the true names. I think they're <laughs> throwing us off we'll with these fake, yeah. fake hamster names. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll figure it out. Okay. That. <laughs> Let us know what you thought of Where Dad. What did we miss? What, what, what were your favorite parts of this this ridiculous episode? Let us know in the YouTube comments at it overlyanimated.com. It's the, the February of Ladybug here. Um, we have uh, Chris Master coming out on Friday. Um, I'm very excited to meet Mr. Chris and uh, what, know what he's a master of. Um, who, who is Chris? I don't know who Chris is. Literally we think hypnotized everyone in Paris. Who is this person? Who is Chris? Yeah. So <laughs> there are there are uh, the Switzerland put out des- descriptions of all of the episodes. Um, so that we do have a we do have a sense of what the episodes are. But Thomas uh, got mad on Twitter. Does not want us to read the descriptions. So we'll be honoring Thomas's wishes. No summary discussion. Don't look at it's it, guys. It That's me. not how we're supposed to view the show. Um, we'll figure out who Chris is. Blinds like everyone else on Friday. Um, that podcast will be out Monday. Um, so letting you know ahead of time, a few days after we'll have these up, uh, within a few days at some point, Chris master podcast, Monday night, um, up for the Tuesday morning commute and uh, very excited for all of these, including the, uh, silencer, uh, on the 28th of February. I just want to let you know, I have big plans for that episode. So, oh God. Um, oh God. <laughs> 
Uh, look, we're working our way to the finale here of February Lady Bug. I've, I've got a tornado planned for Storm Master too. So, so get, stormy ready. We- Stor- get ready for stormy weather too. That's in the middle. It's literally called that in the middle of this month. Okay. So I've got big weather plans. You got big weather plans? Okay. <laughs> They're not as big as my plans for Silencer. Don't worry. No. Um, Is it like uh, going to be 45 minutes of silence? <laughs> yeah, we're... Um, we're like doing a bird box, but with uh, like talking. We're gonna the, telepathically yeah. tell you yeah. in the okay. podcast how we okay. feel. Okay, no, it's better than that. okay. Well, oh gosh, so, this is gonna be so, terrible. So it's Delaney's gonna hate it. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, we're gonna. So this is excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is all, all, all coverage all lady uh, february here for ladybug so subscribe to not miss any of this give us your thoughts join us on discord to talk about ladybug at overlyanimated.com slash discord we're very excited for all these episodes support us via patreon at patreon.com slash overly animated thanks to our current patrons especially our patron podcast hugh aka hugh neutron and thanks to our star patron executive producers john and steve alex and hugh i believe hugh is pulling a needle now with ladybug podcast so a uh, shout out to hugh um Yay. but uh yeah uh that can only be a good thing pulling pulling a needle right as uh to talk about that was on our discord and um yes well uh more ladybug uh coming up uh, just these episodes are going to be like two two a week so a, a lot happening ton of other stuff at overlyanimated.com we've had a lot of podcasts check out um young justice there's a dragon ball super brawly podcast uh, more Ch- steven universe change your mind stuff carmen san diego podcast happened continued genlock coverage the promised neverland coverage um find all that at overlyanimated.com but the main event for february is ladybug so we'll be very excited to get into all that um Yep, that was where dad. I'm I'm sure you guys are glad. We did it. We waited a month. Okay, we did it. So, <laughs> thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.